Hi and welcome to day five of Wave. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff. In a little bit, we're gonna make someone's day and draw a winner who gets to choose either a bench bundle or an RF bundle. First though, let's jump into today's tip where we'll look at how to couple together multiple function generator channels. Most of us learned how to use a function generator in our first hands-on engineering class. They're a staple on any electronics bench. In general, they're pretty easy to use if you only need to source one signal, but it can be a bit cumbersome if you're trying to coordinate multiple inputs. If you're in an automated testing environment, trying to coordinate multiple function generators can also make your code more cumbersome. So today we're gonna to look at how to coordinate or couple together multiple function generator outputs. Here we have a dual output function generator piped into an oscilloscope so we can see the function generator's outputs. We can actually couple the outputs together using dual channel operation. To turn on dual channel operation, select a channel, hit more, and then turn on dual channel and you'll see we have a dual channel operation menu. And if you look at this, we can couple the frequency, we can couple the amplitude, and if we turn on frequency coupling, we can even set a frequency ratio between the two channels. So I'm gonna set this ratio to two, so channel two is gonna have double the frequency of channel one, and then notice if I go in and change the frequency of channel one, channel two is automatically gonna be adjusted. So these channel frequencies are now coupled together with one simple control. One situation where this is often used is in the testing of differential gain amplifiers. By syncing the frequencies, you can see how your amplifier responds to different inputs. Here, the flatness of channel one shows us that the amp is working properly. And here we can see the differential amplifier's response when the differential inputs aren't perfectly in line. In this case, channel one has a two to one frequency ratio. This could also be useful if you want to maintain a 90 degree offset for IQ data or mix together two outputs to create one multi-frequency signal, especially if you're using ARPs. For example, testing the pulse rejection characteristics of a pacemaker. For more tips on using waveform generators, check out the app notes over in the waveform generator section. If that was useful, there's more where that came from over on the Wave library. The link for that is in the description and near the bottom of the Wave webpage. We also have the final schematic challenge live on the Keysight Bench and Keysight RF Facebook pages today. If anyone replies with the correct answer to all three questions for the week by Thursday at midnight Mountain Standard Time, that's Friday at seven in the morning, UTC, we'll add three 1000 X-ray scopes to the drawing for that week. Also remember you can enter once per day at wave.keysight.com. And if you're in one of the South Asia Pacific countries, check out the quiz contest details on your version of the webpage. And now let's get to today's drawing. While well, I'm drawing the name, I want to encourage you to share this event with your engineering friends and your uh, workplace proximity associates. If they were to win, you would definitely be the friend or workplace proximity associate of the year. Um, and it probably won't hurt your chances of winning too much either. So today's winner is Christopher Cook. Congratulations, Christopher. We'll be in touch with you shortly. There are now only seven bundles left, so make sure you're getting your entries every day at wave.keysite.com. If you have questions, check out the FAQs page on the Wave website, or you can put them in the comments below on the Keysite Labs YouTube channel. That's all for today. Make sure you get your daily entry, check out the Schematic Challenge on Facebook, and subscribe to the Keysite Labs YouTube channel, and we also have a Keysite Podcast YouTube channel where we sit down with some of the technical experts around Keysite and around the globe to talk about technology trends and what's changing in the industries going forward. So check out that YouTube channel or subscribe to the Double East Talk Tech podcast in your favorite podcast engine. I'll see you next time. Wave host tryout, take one. Hi, I'm Daniel Bogdanoff and welcome to Wave 2018. Is that good? Host tryout, take two. Hi, I'm Daniel Bogdanoff. Welcome to Wave 2018 and we have stuff. Wave host, it's tryout, take three. Hi, I'm Daniel Bogdanov, and welcome to Wave 2019, 2017, 2018, 2017. Wave host, tryouts, take five. How's my hair? Hey. Wave host, tryout, take four. Hi, welcome to Wave 2018. I'm Daniel Bogdanov. Bogdan off. Hi and welcome to Wave 2018. My name is Daniel Bogdanoff. Is that really the last name we're gonna go with? It's kind of a mouthful.